Brad Williams, XL Prime. Count sales between low and high, or high and low, however you want to define it. We're going to use three different functions here. We're going to start off using count if. Then we're going to use a sum and then a sum product. All three compete the same answer. Here we have count if. If you're not warmed up to count if yet and count ifs, review the write up. Some product, same thing. If you're not up to speed with some product, read it. In addition, if you're not familiar or not comfortable with this type of structure, I want you to break this stuff down piece by piece. This is pretty fundamental stuff. In advanced course, this should be pretty basic. Older versions of Excel, remember, control shift enter. In the sum product, we're dealing with multiple arrays. So here we have, well, we're dealing with criteria. With count if, you know, we can count cells that meet a criteria. So we can add multiple criteria. Now this is old school. We could get count ifs and do all this under one umbrella. If for some reason you're more comfortable with count if, all we're doing is we're going to find a range. Our range, it's going to be across here. What is our criteria? It's got to be less than I5. Count less than I5. Go over to our second criteria, count if. C5, our range across here, C5 to G5, greater than 78. And all we're going to do is count those numbers. Got it? Over here, we're going to do the exact same thing with just a different, different tool. All we're going to do is sum C5, G5, less than I5, plus C5, G5, greater than J5. Got it? And then some product going to just steal this stuff in here besides the sum and we're just going to throw a sum product in there. In terms of sum product, it multiplies arrays. It's just take care of myself. It's going to go zero times whatever number we throw in here. We look here, we're going to look here, F9, false, 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 and then look here, F9, we have true, false, true, true, true. We're going to take those trues and multiply them times one. We're going to come up with three. Got it? Remember, what we're trying to do is some product with this less than, we're essentially counting. Keep that in mind. We're not trying to sum up these values. We're trying to count. Just count. Keep that in mind. If you want to change this whole thing, you can put equal signs in there, and it'll give you a completely different output. Read it if you need it. Look at the anatomy. Brad Williams, XL Prime.